get this. So floppy. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I make scrunchies and bows. I've been doing so for nine years now. In today's vlog, I'm going to be restocking the scrunchie wall because uh, I think it's been like three weeks since I reopened the website and had everything that was in stock rather than made to order. And there's a lot of stuff that's out of stock. But also, I want to start making the new products uh, that I want to release. So there's a few things I want to get out this month, which are the wristlets. I've um, been talking about them for a while now. So I was thinking about doing two different types. I was thinking about doing the just the fabric ones and the scrunchy ones. I don't know about the scrunchy ones yet, but we'll see. Like I do want to do the hair curlers, but I'm thinking I probably won't have time this month. It'll probably be next month. They'll be released. And the DIY packs. So I have two different types that I want to get done. I want to do my normal ones, which are the hand stitch ones, which I've had for a few years now. I just want to change them around a bit though, because I want to try and get rid of the plastic component. And also I could probably incorporate a lot of the packaging from Vistaprint too. I'll have a look. And then also with the deluxe scrunchies, I'm wanting to make like a box or something and like have it set out really nice. So when someone buys it, it's going to be like a nice experience for them to like open it up and you know it's just not two pieces of fabric <laughs> sitting in there. I'm still deciding on what sort of yeah what I'm going to do for that. I'm thinking I'm going to do two pieces of fabric with the elastic thread. I was thinking about getting actual like little handmade labels as well because that would be cool to just like have a like a made by me rather than like my my tags I could like put a different tag in there. I do have a video call very soon with Vistaprint though so I'm going to jump off now, but I'll be back on very soon.
Hi guys, okay, so I'm back today. I still need to cut all the fabrics or finish cutting them all. I'm already running out of time this week. Because <laughs> like tomorrow I need to do my YouTube video and the next day I probably need to do a little bit of marker prep. Ah, oh, time just really goes way too quick and stressing me out. I did do my Vista print order. I have that done. It became very obvious to me that I won't be able to get the DIY packs out, like the machine ones out. I can only get the hand sewn DIY packs out this upcoming release and I also did like the stickers and thank you cards. I only did a small lot this time though because yeah I still have so much of the other from last month so it would just be like really first in best dressed I guess. I think it's the first 30 orders will get both sticker and thank you card in the new March colors and then anything after that will get just a mixture of whatever I have in stock. I know I've got more thank you cards than I do of the stickers because the stickers are pretty expensive. So I'm just going to finish cutting all the materials that I need to get done to do the reprep launch. Then I'm going to start on cutting the new prep launch, like all the new materials. So this is going to be one of them. Uh, I did base the color choices of the sticker and stuff off this fabric. Uh, it wasn't directly off this fabric. I didn't do it like the Chrissy one. I could have done it like the Chrissy one, but I didn't because I was running out of time and just wanted to do it real quick. So I just did a light pink, like, scrunchie sticker, and the background is... Wait, no, it's still around. I did a light blue scrunchie sticker with the background light pink because I had done one last night, and I didn't like it. It was like a salmon pink background with a green, apple sort of green scrunchie, and... I uh, asked a few of my friends and they said no, <laughs> so and I, I agreed. So I'll have to make a few of these as well, all the new colours that I've chosen. But I'm just going to get straight into it. I probably won't film me cutting much of this because I already filmed some yesterday. These are my choices for March. So we've got a linen gingham, we've got that one, got some Easter prints. I also have this range, which I'm pretty sure it's by a designer called Laura. I can't remember her last name. I think it is anyway. Could be completely wrong on that. This one's a Missy Rose fabric. She designed that one for me. It's got butterflies and flowers on it. I don't know about that one. Those that I wanted to put up, these ones. That one's actually the very close to the sticker colour. It's like in between those two colours, I think. Like that blue in that. And that's Easter, which is three prints. But maybe these ones can go up next month. There's a few different ones there. Maybe this one too, because it sort of goes with the colours. Actually, that one goes almost perfectly with that one. I could do something like that. Although I'm feeling like maybe another pink one. Maybe I will do that pink one. Okay, so they're the five that I'll choose. And then these ones, well, they're Easter and like the designer ones. So I wanted to put them up anyway. And then the ones I missed can go up next month. What do you think about them? I actually don't know how any, like, these ones will go. I'm hoping they'll sell, but I don't know. These ones, I'm liking the vibe. And these are the only three Easter ones I have left that actually have more than, like, half a meter. I've just finished cutting everything. Now I'm looking at these. So I got quite a few of them, actually. I've got 60. They're pretty high quality ones. These ones are so cute. So cute. They're like metal metallic y purpley rainbows. Alright, these are the colours that I picked out so far. They aren't final colours, but we'll see. So I tried to pick out some that will match the scrunchies. So I have those two and that one online. Then all the others are new ones. Those two, I'd probably do the metallic. I don't know. Those ones gold. I have heaps different colours, by the way, because I've got, like, a selection. I'm not a fan of this one. Kind of, like, rustic-y, old, antique-y looking. This one's, like, gunmetal grey. I want to try and make three of each. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 times 3, 33. Could even make a little bit more, I suppose. I just need to figure out what colour's gonna go where.
Alright, do we like the thin or the wide berth? <laughs> hmm, I'm thinking the wide. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. I just did two different sort of looks for it just then. I'm going to have to make it a little bit smaller next time. That is just out. Luckily, I'm only just trialing stuff. Oh, I was meant to put my label in. Might as well do it with one of my faulty labels. The label would be better if it wasn't upside down, I suppose. I could probably make it not upside down by flipping that right underneath and sewing it. That could work. Yeah, I'll do that because I don't like it upside down. Obviously, it is also wonky and I would sew it in rather than just plaster it in. It doesn't, it's not very strong. Probably should wait till the glue dries though, I suppose. I did see one person using fabric glue, so some of them don't even use any glue. Alright, well, I'll let that dry. I've already, like, taken it off <laughs> halfway, but I'll let it dry for now, and I'll see if days eyes I might go and get some new glue tonight. Some, I don't know, stickier glue. <laughs> I've got so much of this elastic, so I thought maybe I'll give this elastic a go. It is an elastic that will roll though, but yeah, we'll see. Oh yeah, I was meant to do something before I did that. I think what I found out is I need to iron this, the label, and I also need to make it smaller, like the make it less than this so then it actually covers it because at the moment I'm about five mils out when I'm doing it and it should be exact. Yeah, that's, this one's exact. So even if I can, even if I have to like bend it a tiny bit just to make it fit, that should work well. And, like, I mean, this is pretty stretchy. Because this isn't, like, my elastic. It's a lot stretchier, but it also will roll. But I guess if people... People probably won't use it. I don't know. Do people use these in their hair? I don't know. It'll be comfy on the wrist because it's a little bit more roomy. I'm not really sure why they're like this. <laughs> Look how twisted they are. But that's okay, I'm just ironing them back into straight.
look what I got. Uh, so I got some E6000. I've never used this before, but I've seen it everywhere. Oh, that's really bright. I've sort of seen it like everywhere though. Um, people use it for gluing clips on bows and other things. And when I did watch some tutorials on YouTube for the wristlets, this glue was used in a few. There was some people using fabric glue, but I just thought just in case, I'd rather make sure that they're completely like the best quality that they can be with my skill set at the moment. Obviously, I will probably get better out of my spur. Like maybe I'll change the interfacing. Maybe I will get straighter at sewing. <laughs> you know, practice makes perfect. Because currently I don't sew very straight. As some people have commented. <laughs> and I suppose they're correct. Um, but I did pretty well I think on these ones. Like there was a couple that went a little bit. But other than that. Did pretty well. So I'm going to put all the clamps on. With this glue. Try not to rip the packaging too much. Because I sort of want to keep the backing. I want to sort of put it back in this. So I can read the back. I think if I'm going to make more of these. I might use a thicker stabilizer. Like this stabilizer is okay, but it is very like the ones that I've seen previously, they are very hard. They're like a lot harder than these ones. I suppose the cotton ones are a little bit thicker. So they're a little bit harder because this material is very like flimsy. This is actually kind of hard. Oh my god. Ah! It's gone everywhere. Oh my god. This is like hard. <laughs> Oh my god, this is just going everywhere. Alright, so it's the next day and these aren't going anywhere, like they're super stuck on, which is a bonus. Yeah, I can't even move that. Okay. Um, not that anyone's probably going to be like pulling that hard on them, but you know, just for test sake. I definitely will use a stronger interfacing next time. These ones though, I think I'm going to just do them very much similar to what they are. They're pretty much how I wanted them. They're nice and fluffy still. There's obviously only 10 of them available though, so there's not many. Yeah, all in all, pretty happy with, yeah, the outcome. I'm almost like, do I even bring them to markets? Maybe they'll sell at markets too. Probably should bring them to markets. Hi guys, uh, it is Friday. I am really running behind on everything and it's starting to really stress me out. I won't lie. It's like already midday. I feel like I've done, I've done, I feel like I've done nothing. Even though I've been doing stuff all day. Uh, but I will show you my Vista print order because I'm really loving it. These are the cards I got for the March launch. So <laughs> originally they were salmon pink on the background and green. And yeah, I wasn't vibing. So this is a, like a much more toned down version. Um, yeah, it's like a pastel, real pastel pink and like a green. It's like almost an aqua green. I mean, sorry, aqua it's a blue. It's blue, aqua blue. Has like a tiny bit of green to it. And I also got stickers. Again, these this size that I got, I thought they would be okay quality wise. But it turned out this size actually isn't. So next time I do an order, I can't do the small size because it just doesn't turn out as crisp. Because they're not as nice. They're a little bit blurry. Whereas the size up, 
and like the bigger sizes, they come out great. So I'm going to have to just order the bigger sizes from now on. But, you know, lesson learned. I did think I solved that issue, but apparently not. I also got these cool items. So I got little flyers made up. So they're just like a thinner paper. I did get the thicker version though. I think I got the 150 GSM rather than the thin. And I didn't go for the 240 GSM because I thought maybe that might be a bit too much. But it's quite, it's good quality. Like you can't see the other side unless you hold it up to the sun. Um, but I just did on the back side, I did like my little... Uh, florals and my website and on the other side I did you know just watch the yeah everything that it needs they need to know um, so it's pretty much exactly the same as what I was printing out myself but this is way easier for me I don't have to cut them in half and I don't have to print them out and yeah for the price it was like I don't even know how much it was it was so cheap though and this is just so much easier just to have these little flyers just put in them so this is what I'll do with my proper sewing machine packs as well so these ones are just for the hand sewn but i got i don't even know how many i got maybe 250 maybe 100 i don't know that's a big difference i know but i have no idea how many i got <laughs> yeah i'm really happy with those for the diy packs i got this so it's just the little backing part which is this is actually the perfect size when I was looking at it, I thought it might be too big but it's perfect size it's the same size I was using and it just pretty much says what's in the pack so that's why I usually put it at the back of the DIY packs so it just saves me printing them and it makes it look more professional I suppose as well like I was printing them with my mun bin which was working great I might as well utilize Vistaprint while I have the opportunity to and so I've ordered them through there now this is the coolest one that I oh I think so I decided to get loyalty cards. You might be thinking, Taylor, why would you need loyalty cards? Well, I was thinking at markets, I always get the return repeat customers, right? Like I have them all the time and I can never remember who they are. My facial recognition skills, horrible. I, someone could have like purchased from me like 50 times and I would be like, oh, hi, I've never seen you in my life. Unless they like, I guess, introduce themselves. Um, like there is some that I can recall in my brain because they've introduced themselves each time they've come into my store. It takes me about two or three times. And like if they haven't said hi, like, and like made like um, a comment like, oh yeah, I love your YouTube or I love your products. I don't, I just don't, it just doesn't work. My brain just dirt goes in that. <laughs> and it's horrible. I wish I could change that, but I can't. It's just how I've always been. And this little, this little thing will probably help with that because if someone pulls one of these out I will instantly know you are a return customer and then I will remember their faces because yeah it usually takes me two two times of seeing them if I see them twice I can recall but if I can if I only if it's just the first time I cannot do it I just I physically mentally cannot recall their faces anyway that's like half the reason that I was like oh these would be fun to do but also I thought it would just be cool so this is what they are. So it says, hey, beautiful in the front. Um, I got these from Etsy. I got the design. And then on the back, it's like a little loyalty thing. So I wrote, thank you for being loyal. Well, that was already on there. And then I said, receive a stamp every time you shop with us in person. Uh, so when they make a purchase uh, at a market. So you might be thinking, Taylor, what stamp are you going to use? <laughs> Do I have something to show you? Okay. I got this little stamp. It's called a pocket stamp and it is great. So we got this and ta -da, it's a little scrunchy and pretty much all you got to do is just line it up. Oh my god! I think I'll get better at it as I go, maybe. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And I was also thinking I could probably put people's names on it too. So then I know their name. Although I'm really, uh, I'll be honest, I actually am a little bit dyslexic. Uh, I don't know. I haven't been diagnosed, but <laughs> I think I actually am. Just, just a little bit. So when people say like, try and tell me their phone numbers or numbers, it doesn't. Yeah, my brain just goes crazy. But easy names, I guess like Amanda. I could just try this. Amanda. So I've like left like a little line there. So yeah. And I'll just have to like maybe shake it a bit because obviously it is a stamp. 
I don't want it to get on anything. Really happy with these. They've turned out so cool. Yeah, it'll be good to have their name on it too, so then I can start knowing names too. I just think it's going to be a really good idea for me to um, connect with the people that support me the most in person, I guess. Like, it, online is actually kind of easier because you can sort of see, well, yes and no. When people message me online, I can kind of see like who they are and usually I know their name because it has it in their bio and I sort of have like a perception of who that is. But in person, it's a lot harder. I'm super excited for these and obviously the customer also gets like a freebie thing. Do you guys think that's a good idea or not? I haven't actually seen these at markets. I've never seen anyone else do it. How did I come up with it? I, I was thinking... And I was like, oh, God, it'd be so cool if I could use loyalty cards. And I'm like, oh, I really can't. Like, it's not really a... And then I was like, wait a minute. I could do it at markets. And then I was like, wait a minute. I could learn people's names and learn people's faces by this. And then I was like, obviously, give a discount too for the repeats. So, yeah, that's that's my little... Yeah, I'm really happy with them. They turned out so cute. And the stamp actually drives pretty fast. Like, that's not moving anymore. So that's good too. So I don't think they had a gloss option, which actually... Is smart because if it was glossy it would it wouldn't dry as quick yeah I only just thought about that just now looking at the stamps but yeah I'm pretty sure when I was checking out because I chose loyalty cards and not business cards it actually didn't have a gloss option and I was like oh that's weird very cool though happy very happy with also on news of things I've purchased I got a new one of these I actually could have taken this one back and I still might because um, someone commented saying that they have a lifetime warranty on Fisker stuff and I don't know if that's true. It might be because I have taken a Fiskars item back before. It was a um, like a hole punch stamp thing. It was like a circle one. It stopped working and like it, I guess, wasn't sharp enough. And they just gave me um, a brand new one. So I might message them about this one because this button here that keeps the blade up, like the safety thing, it keeps popping out and then it gets stuck. And then like, yeah, it's really annoying. So I actually have to put more pressure on my hands by holding it in and it's not it's not really what it's for like you're meant to it's more ergonomically you know it's not meant to like you know to like put pressure on it and also there's something wrong with when i'm when i'm actually going it's not i don't think it's the blade and i don't think it's the mat there's something up with this that like every certain rotation it doesn't cut through it's i don't know and maybe something to do with this black thing. See how it's just sitting there now. So it could be something to do with that. Um, maybe that comes down as I'm going. See, it just popped right back then. But yeah, as I'm going, that slowly moves. And then it comes to a point where it kind of gets too close to the blade. And then it doesn't cut anymore, obviously. But as I'm going, maybe I like tighten my grip. So I might like go this and then I tighten it halfway through. I don't know. Something's up with it though. This mat, mat's brand new. The table's like great. Um, yeah. And I mean it is old. I've just been through a lot. Uh, but I definitely do recommend this Ergo Control one. It's really good. And they've also gone down in price. When I purchased this one, I spent $60 on it. Not on sale because it was peak COVID and nothing was on sale. And everyone was after this sort of stuff for the face masks. That's why I got it um, originally. And I don't know how how I used to do scrunchies without it. I guess I do make a lot more scrunchies than I did back then. But oh my god, I just can't even imagine having to hand cut all of this anymore. Like, no way. So yeah, newbie. I think what I'm going to do is make, not many. I'm going to just make a couple of... Scrunchies for what are we doing? I'm gonna make some scrunchies for the market tomorrow. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make black and I might just go ch double check what colors I have in the satin because you know, sometimes I actually have some left. I might actually have some left from last market because I didn't do as well as I was hoping to do. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> might have been it might be the actual blade because I've been using blades from AliExpress maybe I should buy some um, high quality ones again because these are so smooth <laughs>
So I didn't realize that you could remove this. Well, I knew you could, but I just never have. And it turns out, even if you do clean underneath the machine, a lot of stuff gets stuck under here. So yeah, I just cleaned out all of that. And it was, and it's like real thick. So maybe this will help my machine a bit. <laughs> Whoops. So I have a lot to do today, uh, I'm pretty behind, so I have to make the towels, the eye packs, all the scrunchies, minis, XLs, so I'm thinking I'll just do one of each for now, and then once the one of each are done I'll separate them, and then try for the rest. Um, I had a lot of comments on my last video about the thread colour, um, a lot of people said like, why bother? <laughs> and I think, yeah, I think I'll only do the different thread colours for the stuff that's like really obvious, like the satins, because uh, they're super obvious, because they're plain colours, but stuff like, I mean, if it was that, you wouldn't even see it, and even this colour, it's so light, like you wouldn't even, couldn't even tell, same with that, if it had a white thread. So, just to make it easier on me, because otherwise I'm just changing so many different colours. I'll just choose ones that, yeah, I don't think you better tell that that much on.
On the weekend, I finished um, elasticating all the wide elastic scrunchies and the minis. So I need to sew the, the elastic and I need to like put these under. And then these ones I need to thread still. Hey guys, I just want to say for like the hardcore fans, I know that you know instantly by seeing stuff. Just don't mention it. That's all I request. I'm not ready to talk about it. And if you don't get what I just said, don't worry about it. Hi guys, it's launch day. Am I really behind? Yes, I am. But we've got some things done. Um, I did some things last night, but the lighting in here is really bad, so I didn't film it. And I was in my pyjamas, so... <laughs> I finished some XL... Oh, not XL kits. I finished the uh, regular size kits, the ones that you hand sew. I'm not going to release the other ones until next month because I want to get like boxes made up from Vistaprint and they can take a couple weeks to arrive from personal experience. So there just wasn't enough time and I want to sort of take my time with them because they are quite expensive to order. I think they're like 5 or $10 each. So they're very expensive to order in like the lower quantities. But yeah, I finished all the DIY packs. Yeah, I really like them. They're really cute. I've done the stickers. Okay, so I know I said at the start of the vlog that I was trying to avoid plastic. Um, I kind of couldn't with these ones. You just, I can't see what colors they are and it's just easier to have them see through. Um, I just don't have the packaging because I was going to put them in like white paper bags and just maybe put like a sticker or something on top. But I mean, stickers are still, still make it non-recyclable. But I tried to match the the tube colour with the actual flat piece. There is enough to still make another, like double this, but I decided to go to bed instead. So yeah, the DIY packs are done. I just going to take photos of them. The photos are going to be not very good either because it's overcast and it's rainy all week. So I will be using my light box this time and I won't be taking photos of my hair because they're just going to turn out blue anyway. But yeah, I separated all of the, the newbies last night. So I've got 10, 10 towel scrunchies, 4 XLs, 4 petites, 15 of the regular size and 15 of the regular thin elastics. And then I also have scrunchie wristlets and normal key fold wristlets. I need to bring those in here though because they are currently in this room. And I still have lots to do in this corner, I'll show you. I do have my bean bag in here too. Because I was sitting on that last night. But down the bottom, some thins and some towel scrunchies. Then I got towel scrunchies and XLs. These ones are also all elasticated. So really it's just this tub to go. There shouldn't be actually too many in that one. And then I can start like making them all. Oh, I need to make the bows still. I'll, just, I'll make one of each. So yeah, I do have to do all this still. Oh, the minis. I have to go find and get all the minis out. So these are all the minis I did on the weekend. That's currently. So we've got five and four, nine. There's just so many that look so similar. I'm also thinking in like the next t probably two weeks, I'm going to start putting up like stuff I want to get rid of. Cause I've just got too much stuff. I also have like a whole bunch of fabric that I want to try and get rid of or at least make them into like XL scrunchies because obviously that uses more material and just sell them off um, like as a clearance price. I feel like a lot of people are feeling this right now. Like it's very, very slow. Like it is always slow for this time of year, I suppose. Like I did look back at my stats for, you know, last year and the year before, but I'm still way down, especially for January. Like my January launch didn't go as well as I was hoping. And I think maybe because I didn't have a lot of new stuff, um, now as big a collection. Possibly, yeah, the obvious one, the fact that people don't really have the money and funds to spend on non-essentials. I am hoping that this launch goes a little bit better, but I am planning to do sale as well. I'll probably do, yeah, in about two weeks because it'll give me time to get all the clearance stuff ready and then do like a clearance sale. And some of these bolts down here I know haven't sold since I've purchased them. Um, and I haven't bothered to make anything out of them. But I also got to remember with the bolts that some of them would be very good for doing the overlocker stuff. Um, I'm planning to open the overlocker probably next week. So that should be exciting. Oh yeah, and I still need to 
do more of these. But <laughs> I'm really sad that I didn't realize how floppy they were before uploading them. But I know they're still gonna be good. Like they're not gonna come apart. Yeah, they're so floppy. Um, these ones though, I'm pretty happy with. These ones have a really soft elastic band. This is what I used to use in my wide elastic scrunchies. Well, in my scrunchies in general, I just had these, um, these wide bands for a bit. But I found that the actual elastic would twist and twirl, <laughs> and, like kind of roll into each other because it isn't like a non-roll. But considering I don't think many people would be putting these in their hair, like I'm not even sure if that's a thing that people would do. And maybe if they're in like a, like a, like a stitch and really need to put something in their hair, but I feel like if there's got keys and stuff on it, no one's gonna put them in their hair because it would get caught and tangled. So that should be fine just as it is. And I also made it like a bit looser as well. So it's like really comfy. My auntie said to me that she has one of these. She uses it to unlock the till at work. The one that she has is too tight. Like it, the elastic in it, it's actually denser than my actual wide elastic that I have. It's like a different, I know exactly what sort of elastic this person would have used, but yeah, it doesn't stretch. So then when she tries to unlock the till, it doesn't, she has to kind of take it off. So she wants one where she can sort of hold this and unlock the till and you can do that with this. So I thought that was really cool feedback, even though it wasn't even my product, but it was good to know when making these. With these, I did try and choose colors that are darker because they will be on the wrist a lot you can't really wash these ones like my actual scrunchies you can wash you can chuck them in the washing machine i know from personal experience <laughs> the only thing i would suggest don't put them in the actual dryer because it has elastic and elastic usually shrinks or distorts yeah but these obviously have metal on them so you can't wash them so there is limited these i only did 10 I, I do think I'll sell out of these ones, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know exactly how I'm going to take photos of them. And I might try and take some photos with it with the light box open with it on my hand maybe.
Okay, so I'm all finished taking photos now. I need to put them on my computer to edit them and then chuck them on my iPad, to, like remove the backgrounds. But I can't do that with this memory card right now. But I have to do this that with this memory card, so I won't be able to film most of it. I'll probably be able to film the iPad section. I use Photoscape X on MacBook, it's free. It's very similar to Lightroom. Morning everyone. I didn't really jump back on last night because um, I was running late anyway. I had only just uploaded everything by 8. Even like putting all the stuff, re like putting it all back in stock. Um, I was like scrambling to do that. And then I realised half the stuff I didn't even put back in stock. So I ended up going on to Inventora to do that part because that just made it easier for me. As for the launch, it didn't go well. Um, I think I got three orders, which, oh well, that's still okay, I guess. Yeah, usually launch days, I usually get at least 20 orders, like, overnight, like that day and night. I have had a few come in this morning, although I have never done a launch on a Wednesday, I suppose, but, like, I, I marketed this real hard, like, I wasn't, like it was unknown so yeah i'm feeling a little bit deflated i guess given all the circumstances <laughs> of this week but anyway take the good with the bad month i'm going to just work on youtube and get that overlocker out and give that a go i will have a sale in two weeks just to see if i can move some of the stock along and also i want to try and move some of these older fabrics i do have a pretty i do have a market on the weekend and i do, do have another market next weekend which should be pretty big markets but i am a little bit concerned about the reception issue um like i've never had issues with my provider but the two locations that we're going uh well i'm going this weekend and next weekend are kind of known for not being great <laughs> um, with this provider and plus because of the amount of people going I'll probably end up dropping out so I'm gonna have to get a Telstra sim I think or credit I don't, I don't even know how that all works but yeah I'm thinking of bringing my old phone and just using both um, I'll get my portable charger the Ballara Folk Festival this weekend Next weekend I have the Thorpedale Fake Festival. No, the Thorpedale Potato Festival. But anyway, this will probably be the last time I'll be on um, for this vlog. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.